Hey. Hello, hello. How is it going? You're looking beautiful today. You too. I feel like not really, but thank you. <laughs> you tired? Didn't sleep? Um, you know, the lives are a lot of prep. I was a little bit, uh, you know, frazzled. We're doing two yes. lives. Okay. We're doing two. Hello, That's everyone. Fine. Just Yes, we are going to, yes, two lives. Hello, everyone. We didn't forget that you are watching. We're just chit-chatting here. But today we prepared something special for you. We wanted to ask you if anyone celebrates Chinese New Year. Or the Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year. It's based on the movement of the moon. So this... And each year it's celebrated on a different day. They actually celebrate for 15 days. That's right. Which so, I, can, I think I can I can actually get get on, get on that. I can get on board as well. 15 days of eating. As long as somebody else is doing the cooking, though. So <laughs> we're learning along with you guys. So we've done a little bit of research and we wanted to make some cookies since this was the interesting fact that yes. one sixth of the world's population is celebrating this holiday and I've never made cookies for the Lunar New Year. So we thought if you guys are celebrating that, that we should give you some ideas. Yes. Me neither. So this was really interesting to research. We, from what I found that the main color is red mm -hmm. and then there is gold and there are other symbols that yeah. are included in the celebration of the new year and we're giving you a bit of uh like lead time it's february 1st so you'll have time to uh, prepare and yeah so we're gonna get started and we'll pop so on i wanted to know like what what the, because they have their own zodiac yes 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 so, so, the, so this is their zodiac you see all these uh fun cute animals and each year it's a different animal so next year 2022 it's going to be year of the tiger and here are the years. So what am I, what are you, what are you, Mark? So when, when you say next year, it's like in, in a month and a, you know, February 1st. Well, sorry, this year, <laughs> we are filming this, it's being pre-recorded. We are still not used to uh, pre-recording. So it's a different, uh, yes. So this year, we are already in 2022. So what are you? I, if you see here the chart, so it rotates. So instead of like, the regular zodiac we're kind of used to it's month to month each animal is a whole year and so i was born in 1972 and it's saying here uh i am year of the rat you are the year of the rat and i am the year of the goat <laughs> very good guys you spot yours your year and so each animal has its characteristics like Let ours. Let us know yeah. what you are in the comment section. Yeah, so we'll pop on a little, uh, like, let's get decorating hand and we'll pop on some facts yes. as we go on. Okay, on. so do you want me to, do you want to go ahead and start? Uh, okay, I guess, sure. Or do you, or I don't care, I can go. I'm, I'm sure. ready, I'm ready. ready. Okay, so All go right. for it. So, so what I wanted to do is, again, like I often do, is use stuff that I have. And so I have this platter that I got from Semi Sweet Mike. Uh, the, the platter is to make a big snowflake. And maybe you guys have seen that video. And so I'm using those, those shapes to make the, oh, wow. the project. So here is like the arms of the snowflake. And so they all go around and then this goes on top, you see, and it basically creates this large design. Um, I'll have the template in the coffee shop and in the groups, but here are my guidelines. I like to get my guidelines on with my airbrush because then I don't have to contend with my hand being in front I can move the cookies. If you're using a projector, it, you can't move your cookie. And sometimes the direction that you're piping in matters a lot. And so you can see here, I've given myself this really faint kind of guideline. And um, these are basically just, um, I looked up kind of, um, you know. Well, I don't know what it, what it says. I assume it's something with a luck. Yes, there's, I got happiness. I'll, I'll have it like properly identified in the templates, but happiness, um, prosperity, health, you know, all the important stuff. And so it's a different one in between like each arm, you see, like that. So you can kind of like add whatever message you want to write. If you want, you can write it in English. 
it'll just be a little bit um, kind of like you'll have to maybe write it, you know, that way. Yes. But I just thought it kind of mm -hmm. went with the theme, writing it in the Chinese characters. So here I've got my very faint kind of silhouette there, to, and I know where to pipe. And so it's the year of the tiger. So at the end of each arm is going to be a tiger head. And I thought that was just a cute way to... Um, so you first outlined it with black and now you're just going to fill? You're going to yes, fill it? I'm just okay. filling in white. So tigers are occasionally white, mostly usually uh, with a little bit of orange. So I'm actually going to be airbrushing this white with a little bit of orange. And the great thing is, is you don't have to worry about the background getting some orange. The red trumps the orange. And so you will not see any overspray on the red. That's the great thing about like this particular color combination. If you don't want to use the orange, white tiger is perfectly, um, you know, why don't you, do you see the tiger? What are the characteristics of the tiger? So the tiger, let's see, we have, so the tiger, it's courageous. Courageous, it's, obviously, uh, yes. Yes, aristocratic. Not sure what that um, would mean. It's a, uh, I guess, yes. I guess, and then I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess, um, it's a survivor. He's a survivor, or she's a survivor. I guess they, they do go hungry quite, you know, and face <laughs> quite a bit of of uh, yeah. issues. So, yeah, and then there's the ox there and the, oh, there's my rat, enlightened. Oh, yes, I'm so enlightened, energetic. Mm, I don't know. You are very much a, a rescuer. You have rescued me many times. Well, I uh, I like not to be like a firefighter. You know, you're not gonna jump for me into the burning building, but well, maybe, yes. maybe. Oh, okay, you would. Okay, so once you've got that white on, you want to let that dry because we're going to be using a um, stencil to airbrush that. And so here is a dry version. And of course, where is my stencil? Here it is. And here is like that initial one. And now I have a more kind of um, detailed oh, face, face. And so I so do this is, like- This is dry, right? Your, your is dry, tiger is dry. dry, okay. I've, I've done the switcheroo from the previously made one. And so when I make my stencils, they're, you know, I finagle my stencils in yes, that- This is face, That's a, this is nice. And so I'm just using a little bit of it here, hold on. I'm just the reason I've got the the plastic is so that it doesn't curl so so much, you know. Because when they're very curved, it tends to kind of like not stick to the surface of the icing, and you can get like some underspray and stuff. So, and the clear plastic is ideal for this because you want to really be able to align your stuff. And so, if you're working with um, cardstock. It's not ideal in this particular circumstance, you know. And so I've got it in position and I'm doing a light. I'm building the color. You don't want to go too heavy so that it doesn't like get drippy and, you know. And then also if you go light, you don't have to wash your stencil as often. And you with the wireless, it, the pressure is not high. So you don't have to worry that much about under spray you see and there oh, is okay. that tiger very quickly you could pipe it but if you're making a lot of well, cookies, like that you made the heart for the nose it just adds a little touch of cute so now i'm just adding i'm going to add just a touch of orange to the to the top of the head mm, right here okay just a little bit yes just a little blush of orange. You don't have to, you can whisper. Did you say that they could use the your stencil with the Royal? If they don't have an airbrush? Uh, they could, they could, but it would be, it will be flatter, you know, like, um, it'll be tough to do the Royal because the white is kind of beveled. You'd have to almost mm -hmm. spackle the white on the then, white and then do the, yes. Oh, yes. Have, yes. So you could do, so they could do, um, Stencil with royal white and then stencil with black on top. 
-hmm. Exactly. All right. So now I'm going to flip him over. And now I'm working in a similar consistency. And I don't know if we've, we've, um, did we air yet the Christmas tree with the gold? I think not yet. I'm not sure. I'm very confused as to what we've recorded and what. So now I'm working in a stiff-ish uh, icing. I've got, forgive my hand there. So this okay. is a number five PME tip. And this is, I wanted to kind of like explain the difference between a PME tip and a regular tip. It's like working with a really high quality pen versus a big pen. The big pen does the job and you can write a letter. But when you have a really expensive pen, the flow is different and it's kind of the same thing. So they're not crazy expensive, but they are pricier than a Wilton piping tip. Right, Han? But they it's are about worth five, six dollars a piece, depending on where you get them. Sometimes they can be four. But they're worth it, I think anyway. They are they're definitely worth it. I'm gonna be using one today as well. So again, now this is about the direction that you pipe. So it's important when you're doing kind of like scroll and stuff that you're at a good angle. So I wanted to tie in some scroll. Like, so this is like very... The, 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 sorry to interrupt you, but is this the round tip or no? This is a star tip. It's a five. So it's a star because then you said five. Usually five means a round. So this is a star. Okay. Now with so PME, their number system is different. Okay. Their numbers are different. Okay, so now I'm doing a little scroll. Uh, the, the, the decorations for this holiday are very fancy, gold and red and very, you know, so I thought this was like the style to go with. And right here at the head, I'm adding two little kind of tear shapes. Kind of looks like a heart, I guess, right? Holding the head. Yes. And then right in the center here, I'm just taking the line all the way to the point. Okay. And then I've got these little kind of guidelines here, depending on your artistic ability and your, you know, sometimes a little extra help doesn't hurt. And so you can kind of like know where to pipe these scrolls. That's beautiful. You make it look so easy. Oh, it's, you're squeezing and when you want, to finish, you release the pressure so that it'll kind of auto taper. Your icing is very nice as well. The consistency is important if you want those lines from the star tip to remain once you're done, um, you know, working. Very also, fancy. It'll just fade away. Are you going to also paint all those squirrels? All those squirrels, all those. I, I was planning on it, but if you don't want to or don't have the gold, I think it still works. It still, yeah, I think it still works. So what's the, what's this color you used? This is, a, it's actually called gold by Americolor. Okay. And I did add a little bit of egg yolk yellow to it just to perk it up a bit because it, it is on the brownish tones. And now this is a runnier version. And this is, I'm just adding little dots around the this part here I thought it just was missing a little something and it's just to tie in with the fancy-ish you know bottom part I actually feel like it in, sorry it, in, it enhances the tiger design yeah it kind of brings it into the it other sense, kind yeah, of style yes. so my dots I'm leaving a gap enough so that they don't melt in together okay so you so can each of see the segments you made oh look at this this is awesome so this each of is the segment how looks like this and then you will arrange it. it it'll come together like that and so here if we add the little kind of message you see in between so they're all different or you could make them all the same and there it's going to come together like that and so in the center to hide the kind of the middle where there's an opening i made a um so the, the plaque, the set I mean comes with a circle in the middle. And I like to have an actual snowflake shape in the middle. So again, I have the stencil for this and you can use it on any kind of sh like shape. I designed it to go on this. The airbrushing is brown. I find that the brown, when you're airbrushing your guidelines on the red, it just makes it look like a shadow so that if it does stick out, it's not so apparent. You know? Yes. So hand it's, it's not as hard as black. Let's just show them another. Let's I'll do two and then we'll show them after the next three. 
for the um, the zodiac. What do we have next? The rooster, one, the dog. The rooster, dog, and pig. Where, which one were you? Oh, you're the goat. So do the that one. Show that one. The goat. Oh, the goat. Okay, so the goat. Okay, horse is enduring, intelligent, wild. Sheep or goat is, is artistic. Okay, so, yes, that's uh, that suits the situation. Okay, this, this word I'm having. I have at my. It's my my tongue is tied. And the follower. What does that mean? <laughs> follower. I guess you're not a leader in, in, in that <laughs> term. I guess in that sense, I'm not a leader. Oh, shush. <laughs> this doesn't mean it's actual fact. It's just, you know. Monkey is clever, cheerful, and childlike. My son is a monkey. And my daughter is a horse. Yeah, cute. I, it's I just, it, it's, it, you know, it's interesting to look at other cultures and everything and so now I'm piping the font here. This is a runnier icing. I compare it to, I guess, um, kind of a, you know, a, a more fluid yogurt, not like the Greek yogurt that's like cheesecake, you know? <laughs> and so, okay, I've never, I've never heard of that. And okay, so I'm here, here I'm squeezing I'm not a here. yogurt. Okay, this is a new one for me. So I'm squeezing very lightly and you can see I'm doing it in a tipless bag. It is doable. And so well, today you, want... you could use this for any happy new year, like happy new year. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's great. So now I'm increasing the pressure and I'm slow because I want the line to be slightly fatter and I'm pulling down. Now I can see I'm working upside down in a bit of an awkward position here, but I can see that a little bit of my brown is showing but i don't know if you guys can see it doesn't real like oh, you don't want to just, it's barely it's barely yeah. barely noticeable you don't want to do your guidelines in black okay that's not a good idea you could even do red on red you just yes. they're this for you use it like it's like a shadow almost yes the point of the guidelines are for you it's not um you know you don't have to have them jet black to see them so when you know you want, you're going to end, release the pressure and it helps for the tapering. I'm writing upside down right now. So, you know, ideally you're working at the angle that, that works for you right now because of the live. I'm trying to make sure that you guys see at my expense of not seeing there. Okay. Now, for whatever reason, I added a circle to the template. So you can just kind of dot and then you know if you want to add a circle. You see, I'm leaving a gap and you don't even see the line anymore after. Mm -hmm. But it just, you know, I thought it kind of worked with the design. Also, you could draw like in another color of the circle. And then here at the end, slow, squeezing more to make the line fatter. Here's a swirl. I know I want to end. Here's some little dots. I'm barely squeezing any icing out. I'm touching down. And because the consistency is right, it's healing and going down. I'm not left with a Hershey's kiss kind of thing. It, it heals and it um, kind of looks like a little pearl instead of uh, a little poop emoji. <laughs> Oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm yawning. I'm also a the time difference for you. And now I'm finishing off my little circle here. And now the Y again, I'm fattening up my line, increasing the pressure, releasing the pressure. The line is narrower and then pulling. Here's my fat line again, slowing down, increasing the pressure, fattening up the line. You want an icing that will heal so that when it, it inevitably, when you're going slow, it causes like a jiggling and the line can get a little bit, um, not as smooth, but because it's the good consistency, well, it heals up. And now here's the R. Now, ideally, let's say you were to screw up and you don't like it. Ideally, you let it dry a smidgen before you start taking it off. If you want to scrape your cookie, 
it's easier to scrape an icing that is slightly dried and then you're chipping off your pieces instead of smearing off fresh icing and you're less likely to get like remnants on these areas. So let it dry a little bit and then you can, when you take it off, it'll like literally chip off. Yes, I agree. Like it, then, then usually just the letters would come off. And yes. the top is crusted and then you can use your stripe or a... Uh, so there's kind of like the finishing. So here's the, once you like your kind of your letters. So now I'm playing with the spikes on the shape here. And so I'm doing a tear at the end of each point, like so. And then on either side, I'm adding, you see? So again, this ties into that style from the arms on the snowflake, but it also does like a bit of a snowflake look. I just thought it worked with. And this snowflake is a good one for breakage. It's a bit on the sturdy side, you know, it doesn't have these really defined arms. So how would you present these on a, on a, a plat, like some kind of a platter or like a large plate? Well, I've been using the um, pizza boxes and I find the pizza boxes are some of the more affordable packaging out there, really. Where do you, you get those? On Amazon. Amazon, you can get pizza boxes. Do you guys use pizza boxes to package some of your cookies? Marlon has been using it for many of her projects. So they're shallow, which what which is usually what you need with cookies, right? You need a shallow box. Yes. And uh, they're not expensive. You can get them white or the brown. You can add a nice label to the front. So, yeah, I find that. For affordability because the packaging really that adds up yes it does it does add up packaging adds up so there Beautiful. i'm gonna and then i'm just adding a little dot right here to kind of like hide the points where they mm -hmm. all kind of finish so there so that's Beautiful. the center cookie and then for the actual mm -hmm. like um I had another one of these that's not decorated. I lost a cookie. Here it is. So again, you know, I don't write in Chinese. And so you don't I, really No. So ideally you've got a, a, a template there so that you can kind of help your, you know, yourself. So here, this is an airbrush stencil. And so I actually made a line there. You see this line. So this is so that the stencil held together. Because when you make stencils, like if there's a circle there in the middle, well, it's all going to fall out. So if you look here on this side, these are actually like all connected. They're like little kind of like little square shapes. So I designed the stencil so that they would be um, usable, you know, with. Uh, so these all, all three, well, these two, they mean, they mean the same. They're the same. So these, yes. uh, these two, they are two different. They mean two different things. They do, and I don't have the, the, the... Well, maybe somebody who's watching can tell us what they mean, if you guys know any yes. Chinese. But I'll include the proper list with the, um, the template, like I have it all, just right now. I know it's ill-equipped, Ill but I just, I don't want to say it's something and then... So I'm just tracing over my airbrushed lines, you see? That's the great thing and about... And this Airbrush is the same as you used on a star on a snowflake, right? Yeah. So you can see it's healing well. I've got my gap. And again, a little bit of brown is showing, but it doesn't it doesn't look like right. It's not really um, apparent. And here's this one. I'd imagine that you could do like the family monogram in these or, yeah. you know. I actually follow quite a bit of Russian decorators and a lot of Russians seem to celebrate this because I have been seeing tigers all in my Instagram feed for the year of the tiger. I sent you a few as we were doing our research. 
So they do yes, these. Uh, yes, they do a lot. They do the like. They are amazing. I mean, you could just do the. I mean, these alone would be really nice to have. No. So I'm gonna try to just kind of put a, a few of them together so that you can get the vibe. I don't wanna, I'll take a picture properly and, and post it later, but so you see that. Very, very um, festive and just proper for a celebration. So I have three of my tigers done. I like that all these cookies, once you, you they're all different sizes. So you, yes. can, you just want a little bite, you take the small one, or you could even share a bigger one with someone, you know, but they are not like overwhelmingly large. Like some of the cookies are too large. So gorgeous, really nice. So there's how it looks once it's kind of put together. So you want to measure your, your, the tip of this to the tip of the other kind of snowflake um, um, all the mm -hmm. size of your box that you need but so once how large is it do you think you i mean what's this like is it over 12 inches i mean it's uh i put this one here I put it like it this. It looks like it's a, well over 12 inches. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't like Well, the it. stencil holder here is, it, this is 12 inches. So yes, it is 12 oh, inches. It's 12, so it is 12 inches. So it's six, six, so 12 inches. Yeah. But I think that it's like a really effective. Very nice. Very nice. If you're going to a, you know, a celebration of the New Year's and you bring these, I mean, everybody's going to love you. Yeah, it's just yeah. something. Uh, I, lo I like this this cookie cutter set. I find that it you can really do like for you could do flowers and this is the leaves. You could do all kinds of things, you know. Yes, it's not just a snowflake. Yeah, exactly. Think about your cutters for more than like when you buy them, or else you're not getting your money's worth. You want to. When be you look at the when you turn it upside down, it could be a. I know it sounds ridiculous. A bell. Do you see? Yeah. Also, yeah. Like a, a, yes. And you could also, if you wanted, Franken cookie some ears on, you know, like relatively easily put like, or a, use a small head from scent, um, Sugar Bell sets, you know, you could switch out oh, the, the minis, yes. And do like snowman heads, do whatever all around on your snowflake. Excellent. So that's it. Anyway, so let's, let's look at another fact can before you start. Okay, okay, let's do the rooster dog and a pig. Okay, so rooster is focused, motivated, and cocky. Dog is loyal, honest, and hot-tempered. Pig is altruistic, honorable, a homebody. <laughs> All wonderful qualities. Yes. Is hot-tempered, I don't know, dog, hot-tempered, okay. So if you guys need to check again. House, Let's see who, who is, what, what year are guys were you born in? And you can match your um, zodiac, lunar year. We have a dragon there also. Yes, yes, the dragon. I don't know what the dragon signifies, but um, I mean, it's certainly a powerful critter. What do we have here for number seven? All they, that's when they, dinner is a ritual. Well, I mean, it's kind of like, um, you know, for it's us best to commemorate the past year. Yeah, yeah, it's the most important time to be the first a family. I think all it cultures. Sounds wonderful. It sounds wonderful. Yeah, I think all cultures have an occasion to gather. I mean, that's the point of. of uh... So, do you guys celebrate? If you're just joining us today, we are working on projects for the Chinese Lunar Year, um, and we're just um, going through different. Um, um, year animals or animal yeah. use and see what they signify. So I'm going to jump in with my project. Okay. So today I'm going to be, I don't know, I'm getting stuck on this cutter. I'm sure many of you, if you watch the lives, you've seen me use it quite a few times. And so I decided after discussing with Bar, also we were brainstorming as we sometimes do. And I'm going to create, um, basically use um, five cookies together to create a fan. 
New Year's fan. That's one of the I've, I've looked up a lot of the images for New Year's for Lunar New Year, and uh, a lot of them were showing uh, a fan. You know. Yeah. So that's why, and I've used this cutter to make Santa. If you watched live a few weeks ago, um, so I'm going to start. I've got my bear cookies here. And I created a template. I mean, this is a really silly template. It's from a, it's a parchment, okay? So what I did, I just traced the, the shape onto the parchment. And I'm going to align it so the edges are somewhat aligned. I'm, I want to leave a little gap here between because I'm going to... <coughs> uh, Uh, different outline here. So what I'm going to do, this is my edible marker. I'm using yellow. I'm just going to mark this section here and then make the lines for this section. And here I'm just going to do a little dot because I don't want to do lines. And then now you can just go by by this. I'm going to use my, you can use a, um, you can use a ruler or you can use, again, remember not to go past the dot. Or you can use a, a cardstock or anything straight, basically. And this design, I think you could use um, a stencil. I don't know if the stencil would be um, wide enough, though. You know, you know which, what stencils? The Starburst? I think you could use it. I made so much icing, like I'm going to ice 50 cookies. Throw it in the freezer for Valentine's Day projects. Yes, yes Valentine's Day is coming up. Red is the main color, right? Red and pink. Yes. Why I is mean, that? that we, uh, it's, the same month. it's the same month. So February, obviously, Valentine's Day, February yes. 14th. And the, the Lunar New Year is the first. So I have here two shades of red. This is light shade and this is dark shade. Now to make this dark shade, I actually used believe it or not, a little bit of brown royal icing that I have that I had I had on hand. It just deepens the color without me having to use too much red food coloring. And so I'm gonna start. Oops, oh sorry, can you see? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna do each section with different color. Red, I'm going to use light, dark, light, dark. And you are going to repeat this on all five panels that you have. Did you uh, ever end up loading this in your coffee shop, the template? It will be there. It will be there. Not now, not, not at this moment, darling but it will be there. <laughs> By the time we air the live? By the time we air the live. Well, today it's, um, can we reveal what, what day is it today? Sure. Well, do you know? Because I can't it's remember. The tenth. Today, <laughs> I can't the tenth remember. Night. It's today the 10th, just... but with the holidays, um, we're, you know, pre-recording some of our lives. Just, um, to facilitate the holidays not being so um, stressful as, you know, my children are off school, Han wants to see her family. So we don't want to neglect you and we don't want to neglect our families. So we're trying to please everybody. Any people watching us today? What? What did you I, say? I said any people pleasers watching us today. I like the two tone of the same color. I, I, I like the, the effect of it. So I'm not waiting between the layers, you know? I'm not waiting for the first layer to crust. I'm going right in and doing the layer next to it. And you're going around the main line. You want to squeeze more ice, you squeeze the bag more so the more so more icing is coming out. And I'm gonna do one more dark. You see 
see I'm squeezing more icing here. If you should decide to use a um, stencil, I would do everything in light pink, light uh, red, and then use, um, would you use red or brown? I mean, I think you can look at also what you have left over. Like you said, you had your brown left over. No, no, no. I mean, if you were to airbrush it. Oh, to airbrush? Well, um, I would probably do red. Red, yes. Because yeah. if you do light red, then if you if you give it a heavier coat with the airbrush, it will be fine. Now I'm adding the same light red on the bottom here. Is that tulip red? It looks like the tulip red. I don't even know. It's no, it is just super red. But I often mix uh, different red. Like you know, I try not to. Uh, dispose of any royal icing into the trash. So I reuse icing if possible. If I have some red in a bag or in a freezer, I will try to reuse it. And if it needs a little mixing with more uh, food color, I will do that. So I don't know what this color was initially. It was red, but I don't know. I usually just use super red. Okay. And after this point, you want to let this um, crust Okay, so I've got some crusted, or dry, I should say. And now we're going to do some decorating with this. Is Marvel's using PME tip. This is also a PME. This is PME 1.5. See, it's even the, the, the quality of the metal, it's uh, nicer. It's different, yeah. Yes. So hopefully my icing is still good consistency. You see there are some dark spots here, so... Hopefully it will be all right. So the, it's it's also part like the reason they're different is the fabrication. They're not like hammered together. There's no seam. They're like they're like made of like shaped in one piece. There's no seam. They're seamless. So I haven't seen a video of how they're made, but that's one of the reasons why they pipe nicer. So now I'm just going to do a border. So it's like a little shell border? Yes, essentially, yes. The beaded border with um, a round tip. So you're creating a teardrop shape. And then here at the point, I'm adding a little dot. This, I mean, I yes, we're doing this for the Lunar New Year, but I mean, you could do a different version for a bridal shower, make it very lacy and pretty, or Mother's Day even, the idea, yes, right? I agree, yes, absolutely. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do, this is another little template that I've got here. Because I'm going to, yes? Just for this, yeah. Because I'm going to display this on a plate. So you want to kind of make sure that your, your design, when you do that, it's somewhat, you know, so that they connect it's a it's a puzzle yeah, so, it, so, it, so it connects you know so you don't want it to be random like one line here and then one line here that wouldn't look all right so that's why i'm using another this is just a parchment you can use cardstock it's really easy to do and you can decide how how um uh, how you know deep into the triangle you want to go so i'm just going to use my scribe here just to make a little line See, it creates a little line, I don't know if you can see the scratch. Okay. And now we're going to, so I'm going to use the same icing, a piping line here. I'm stopping the pressure and then there. So Han, are you the type to read your Zodiac um, kind of daily, you know? No. Sometimes I will read it. I'm like, oh yeah, they got, they got, they got everything correct. But it's, you know, I don't know if anyone gives to all of the the zodiac uh, like predictions or how your day is gonna go. Um, it's just fun, I think, afterwards after your day. Spouse like see, oh, did they get it right? 
it's just fun. I don't really do believe it. Like, I mean, I don't know, but I do find like I've looked up, obviously anybody has looked up the, you know, the characteristics. I'm a Leo and I, I do find that there's some characteristics that I have, you know, Oh, yeah, no, I, I me, fine. me as well, me as well. That, 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 that is true. Yeah, a lot of it is very much true. What I, what, yes. What zodiac sign are you guys? And is it, is it BS or did, did, are they, are you somewhat like the description you've seen? I really am. I have to say, I really am. What, what it says, but I don't do daily. But you have to remember, like, depending on where you are born. Like if your date falls close to the next zodiac, so you could also have some of the traits of that. That, right? Do you, do you want to hear a little funny story? So my daughter yeah. was in college uh, last year and the year before, and they were registering for their complimentary classes. And uh, one of her, um, you know, fellow students you know, they're having a little conversation and what did you um, sign up for? And the, the girl says that she signed, signed up for astrology. So Jessica leaves it like that. And she's like, astrology, that's an intense class, you know, like that. Because I mean, the complimentary, you can take something a little lighter so that your workload isn't so intense, you know. And so later conversation, um, Jessica says, oh, that's going to be a lot of uh, work, you know. And she's like, well, I like, uh, you know, uh, the zodiacs and Jessica is like what <laughs> astronomy and astrology is not the same thing so she had to continue and she thought okay <laughs> she, well I guess she yes she learned probably very quickly it's not what she well she dropped the class oh <laughs> <laughs> she dropped the class okay now I'm just going to add some dots. That's a, a design that we see also a lot, eh? that kind of like um, fish scale looking design. Yes, that was one of the, when I looked up the patterns, it was one of the designs that were included in the patterns, okay? Now we have to let this, oh, I, I forgot. So we have to let this section kind of crust and then I'll finish up by adding another line here. So let me do another one here. We have some time. So those of you who are just joining, we are making um, I'm making a fan for the Chinese New Year celebrations. Your icing's nice and shiny. I had it uh, sitting in front of the fan. That's how I like to dry my icing. But Han, you said to me off this that you're having a lot of trouble with humidity at your like you've moved now. You're yes, so we got the dehumidifier, darling. You got so it's it. Been running, yes, and it's in. It's, it has improved incredibly. Oh, well, I'm asking. I have made a gingerbread house and uh, or like my gingerbread pieces, and I can now understand when somebody is emailing me. Hey, I live in a humid area. My my the, the dough is like so soft. So it actually it came out as hard as a rock from the oven. And then over the course of maybe three, four days, it was it wasn't like falling apart, but I could like stick my fingernail in it. So it was soft. And now it's it's much better. It was I'm asking uh, you for, for people that are struggling with the, the issue. So, you so it was uh, we just bought a the dehumidifier and it's it's just running. It's been running for about four days now. So like we just about. got it. Yes, we just got it. Yes. So and it's it a floor been, unit? It's a floor unit, yes. It's just yeah, it's not, it sits on the floor. You do have to empty the although now we have we have it running in the like in the drain, it goes in the drain, but you do have to it has a pretty large um container water water tank. So it yeah, it collects the water and then you have to it shuts off and you have to um dump the Did water. Did you find that the humidity was also impacting your ingredients? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. No, not that I, no, not that I noticed anything. Not really. Just the, the, yeah, the gingerbread. So did and, it and the gingerbread and drying, drying of the icing. Oh my goodness. It, like it would sit here and it wouldn't dry. So I uh, had to put it, the fan enough wasn't enough. 
you know, because the air was so uh, humid. Yeah, it was so humid. So um, I had to put it in the oven to crust at 50 or 40 degrees of Celsius. I think it's about 100 degrees of Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. But then if you do it in the if you try to do it in the oven, what happens sometimes the butter bleed happens. Ah, uh, yes. So that's kind of a risk of it. I've, I've, I've had that happen. I don't know if anyone who does the drying in the oven or crusting in the oven. Um, yeah, I've had the butter bleed happen, which wasn't, you know, it's not something that I wanted to have. So I tried to do it as um, for, for as short time as possible, just to get it crusting. Oh, I have too much icing on here. This is a very simple design, I have to say. I, I mean, I think it's very simple. What I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to use my scribe to um, give me the points where to start piping. Is this our deco design, what I'm doing? Yeah, I mean, kind of. I'm getting a phone call right now from the scammers who tell you, you know, basically you're a wanted criminal and they're coming to get you if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, give them money. It is so annoying. It's practically the only phone call. Well, now I get. you're getting the call. Yeah, it just came in, and and I mean, they somehow, you know, have these uh, automated like kind of things that, I mean, it's just annoying. I, I can't imagine the poor people that get caught with this nonsense. Okay, so let's see if this one is somewhat crusted. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so if it's not crusted, I'll leave it be and I'll start on finishing up. So to finish up, I'm going to, you could leave it like, uh, like this, but I'm going to use some gold. And um, this is actually in in the palette. I have this is dry. This is edible. Oops, edible edible art decorative cake pan. It paint. This is uh, sweet by by sweet sticks. This is glamorous gold. So what happens? It will dry. Please do not just uh, toss it. You can uh, reuse it. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to use, this is my little bottle with Everclear. And I'm just going to add some into my dropper. And now we're going to use my scribe here. And you see, you can reactivate it. Yes, you can reactivate it and use it. Well, as I mean, all of that stuff costs $15 yes. or something. It's crazy. quite expensive, so you want to make sure that you, you know, you don't just throw it out. You want to save it and then you can use it. I mean, when you're pouring 94 proof alcohol or whatever the proof alcohol, you don't have to worry about germs. Everything's getting killed. <laughs> yes, that is true. So now I'm just going to paint all the yellow details to give it a bit more shine and glamour. And this brush I'm using, it's from the Milton set that I absolutely love. It's a five piece. I think I have one more here. Mm. Yes, so I've got two, three here, three brushes. There are two more. And it's from the it's from one set. These are really great to have. If you don't have those, it would also make uh, for a great like Valentine's Day gift for a decorator. <laughs> like, you know, or birthday. Stocking or stuffer. Put in your yeah, stocking for, for the next year. So yeah. For this year. So yeah, I guess it's after Christmas. So guys, did you get anything good for Christmas? Did you get spoiled? Did you spoil yourself maybe? I know a few people had uh, their 
hopes for airbrushes and things like that when we were asking. So how did it turn out? Tell, tell us, what did you get? What did you get? Very nice fan. So it's quite simple, but effective. Yeah, once you put it together, I'll show you in a second. It's quite nice. So if you're just joining us, guys, you can watch the replay. This is a pre recorded live. We filmed this um, before Christmas so that we can have a little time with our families, but we hope you're enjoying it nonetheless. We thought of you before. Okay, so you have to repeat it on all of the panels. And I'm going to finish this one. And this one, it only requires a um, little black. I'm going to clean up my tip here. And just make a little you can see, I don't see very well here. I and mean, I this could be a pizza box too, Han. Oh yeah, I guess so, yes. Okay, so let me just bring up enough cookies so you can see the finished design. I'm going to set this aside. Uh, you made uh, both of us a puzzle today. Yes, we did. Okay, let me bring this up. Oops. All right. So let's zoom out. So okay. do I have another one? Where is the other one? Oh, the other one needs to be painted, so I didn't, didn't, we didn't, I only painted one. So you could have, now what I was actually thinking, that I was going to, uh, like, um, you know the lucky coin, I suppose that is? Yes, yes, they have a coin, that, yeah. That I would add that here to kind of hide the connect, connection here, you know? But that's basically it. So this is a fan designed for New uh, New Year, for Lunar New Year. And um, I use this cutter. Very nice. Another detail that could be added if you wanted to add more to the bottom is that, you know, like a tassel. Tassel, tassel also. And I also thought that it would really look nice with adding a cherry tree across. Yeah, like a... If you yeah. do decide to do that, I might do that later. You have to keep in mind that I would suggest that you do it, uh, you put it together like this, you create your branches with a scribe, okay? And then you connect it so it kind of fall, it, it creates a puzzle. Because if you do it without having an outline, then it won't match, you know? So if you decide to do, you could even, I was thinking it would, it would be nice to create the, the cherries even with wafer paper to have it have like, you know, white. More dimensional. Well, yes, more dimensional. So that's just an idea. Or you could do pipe flowers. I do have a cherry tutorial, pipe cherry flowers on YouTube. And template is also in a coffee shop. And Very template cool. for my triangle, it's also in a coffee shop. So do you want to show yours on the screen too? Do you have, you, did you, I did have you it here. Um, oh, look at this. I like this a lot. So it's very different, but similar in that, you know, we kind of... Well, we use both red and gold. I mean, that's yeah. the kind of the main color. Very, um, like, royal color, isn't it? Yeah. Colors. So that's what I, that's what I used. Very nice, and We're, we're uh, such a good team, eh? Yes, we are. So, guys... If you celebrate the Lunar New Year, and if you, you know, celebrate just our North American, whatever celebration. Please do tell us what you eat for 15 days. I would yeah. love to know. Are there yeah, special dishes? Days. We like, just want to wish you guys I'm whatever sure. year a happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes. yes. 
And thanks so thanks much for, for joining us. Yes. And, 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 and supporting us and watching us and commenting and interacting and being part of the lives with us. We appreciate it. And it's almost, it's almost, um, we've, we're really on a schedule today. Look at that. Yes, hey. we are on schedule. We're on schedule. Yes, I'm looking forward to doing some Valentine's, excuse me, Valentine's Day cookies. Are you? I have to say yes, I like Valentine's Day, but last year Easter was a big hit. So I think Easter is going to be Easter? my focus. I think Easter's, you know, more kids and stuff like that and people yeah, family are, also yes yes yeah, i think that's it so if, whatever the occasion though cookies you can make for every occasion you see we just made for this and we've never done it before you can make for any occasion i'm sure if you go on instagram you'll see like people are making it for kidney stones i mean you name it it's on there thanks yes and again Happy New Year. Happy New Year.